All right, everyone. So here I am at the Hampton Inn in Surprise, uh, Arizona. It's, uh, I think it's either to the west or to the east. Um, I think it's to the west um, of Phoenix, Arizona. So uh, anywho, so I stopped to get uh, some groceries. So I'm running a little late today because I got a lot of work to do. And uh, when you're on the road, a lot of things you're tired of is fast food. So, um, so you can see that blue bag over there. That's all my groceries. All right, so my back is to the door like always. And uh, to the right is the bathroom and a closet. And then you can see to the left, at least I don't have an adjoining door. So let's go through the bathroom. Uh, we have a beautiful granite countertop. There's my ice bucket, which is in the bathroom. Uh, just the basic Neutrogena toiletry products, uh, shampoo, conditioner, and lotion, and two soap bars, and it looks like a vanity kit there as well. So we usually just has um, a nail file and some cotton swabs and a few other things. So there's the mirror and me, and um, there is the hair dryer. We have a trash can in the toilet, and there's some uh, Kleenex on the back of the toilet which is kind of new and some hooks and then the tub surround which looks like it's tile work actually so that's pretty nice and the bathtub actually looks pretty clean so that's not too shabby and the floor tile is a uh, Home Depot special <laughs> and the rug is just basic industrial rug uh, for the mirror this is actually hiding the closet. Ta-da! So there's an extra blanket, the iron, the ironing board, the luggage rack, and a bunch of hangers. So nothing too exciting there. Again, there's my luggage and my blue bag of groceries. We have a uh, sort of little table, utility table, to put all kinds of stuff. There is some art in the room, and it's sort of a print drawing kind of thing. Um, looks like a Kmart special, but it's actually kind of pretty. So I'm not quite sure what it is. It looks kind of French style or something like that. Um, it's a door with some bricks around it. I don't think it's local art, which you know me, I like that local art a little bit better. So then we have, uh, we have where my um, appliances are. We have an Avante uh, microwave. Let's see, inside looks pretty clean. Then we have an Avante refrigerator, which we'll be getting filled here pretty soon. And it's got a little freezer section too, so I'm going to turn it up to the max because I got quite a bit of groceries. Um, one thing when you're traveling, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but the best place to actually get food while you're on the road is the grocery store. A lot of them have really cool uh, deli sections and then you can get fresh fruit. Um, you know, you can get grapes and cheese and just really healthy stuff um, versus going to a restaurant and getting the table for one and paying for the same stuff. So I actually got quite a few groceries um, for very inexpensive. I got a um, whole grain turkey sandwich and I got some strawberries and blueberries and I got some soup and all kinds of stuff and it cost me less than 30 bucks well it cost work less than 30 bucks so um, we do have a little bit of a old-school dresser there it's kind of beaten up a little bit and a Philips TV so we'll see how that is um, you know you can see oh it's Thomasville look at that uh, I haven't seen that in a while and we do have a cool little office desk and yay my coffee is actually outside of the bathroom <laughs> um i'm not sure who put the wallpaper up it actually looks really you know it's pretty nice i mean it's it's peachy tones and you know browns and stuff but then you get to the corner and look at that corner um, somebody did not know how to round or cut the wallpaper so it's almost like they just kind of continued on <laughs> um, and didn't like cut because normally you cut the wallpaper there and then start a new layer um, and they didn't they just sort of rounded the corner so that's kind of weird um, we have kind of an old-school phone 
just as a shout out, okay, I mean, I'm not, nothing against areas, but I'm going to show you the outside, and as you can see, it's, it's actually kind of pretty. I'm on the fourth floor, and um, there's the pool down there, and I get to oversee that, so there's not a lot um, for me to oversee. There's not like a big view or anything, but if you can see the tops of that building, and all the way out there, all those homes and stuff, this is actually the hotel for the retirement community is the Hampton Inn. All right, I'm not kidding. I went to the grocery store. It's like right over that way. Um, you might be able to see the top of the grocery store. It's kind of that darker brown building way over there. Like right, it's right there. So that's the top of the, the grocery store. Um, so anywho, uh, I went over to the grocery store and I was just kind of saying to myself, I'm like, God, there's, you know, not, not for nothing, but there was a lot of um, elderly people. And I thought, at least in my area, you know, usually when they're all grocery shopping, it's either during the middle of the day or, you know, it's uh, the day for the social security check or something like that. Um, and then I didn't realize until I actually went down this road a little further and um, You know took a wrong turn and had to come back But I didn't realize that this is actually the hotel for the retirement community and that's the grocery store they use So they were all very sweet. It was all very cool. Um, it's just uh, you know an excessive amount so it's not a mixture of like young and old and little kids and I mean I was probably the youngest person in there and that's including the cashiers and stuff so um, it was definitely an interesting experience but everybody was wonderful and friendly and you know didn't feel out of place at all uh, here's another corner where the wallpaper they wrapped it rather than cut it and lay it right so again interesting uh, the beds uh, where I was going with the retirement community thing is I noticed everything has kind of an older feel as well so you know the furniture and when I checked in and you know um, there were people hanging out front uh, it was very sort of a very relaxed uh, atmosphere so that's why I assumed that the room has some older products in it as well so uh, so anywho, I got a double bed because as you know, for those of you who may or may not know, I love getting a hotel room with double be double beds because even though I only take up, you know, a little bit because I'm used to sleeping in a king size with my husband, uh, one thing people don't think about is that now I have double the um, pillows. So I have eight pillows and I have two blankets. <laughs> so I can always grab the blanket from this one and move it to that one and same with the pillows. And I tend to uh, not have a lot of pillows at home, but I am a pillow hog and I love lots and lots of pillows. So um, I usually end up stealing a couple from over there, as many as I can get. So that's why I do a double bed uh, for the most part. I've only had a few hotels where Either king was the only choice or, you know, the people asked me if I wouldn't mind switching to a king because they had a lot of rooms that needed double beds. So, um, with two adults or kids and stuff. So, anywho, but if I get my choice, I usually get a double bed. So, there's the nightstand. Uh, we do have a power center. Uh, so, that's always a good thing. That way I don't have to pull out, uh, you know, the... Um, the nightstands in order to get to plugs and all that good stuff. Clock and an old school phone again. Um, and again, we already pointed out the double bed, but then the only other piece of art in the room is, again, just one of these weird geometric shape um, Kmart special art, you know, <laughs> photo framed things. So uh, I do definitely have my opinion about the art. I like unusual pieces. Not that I'm an art person, but I like either really unusual pieces that don't look like I can go down to Walmart and pick them up. Um, and I like, um, or I should say, or I like when they have um, like local art, you know, I've seen some black and white photos or I've seen, you know, things, especially in Texas that have cowboys and all kinds of stuff. I like things that apply to the area. Um, so you kind of get the feeling that you're in a different 
um, hotel that's in a specific area versus something like this, which doesn't scream Arizona at all. Maybe the colors, but not really. Um, it doesn't scream Arizona at all, and, and it would just be nice to have something, um, even pictures of cactus or something. Um, not that anybody listens to my opinions, but again, that's the room. It's pretty basic. Uh, it's, you know, the same as every other hotel, um, just with its special little touches. Anywho, have a good, guy, have a good night, guys.